What should you do when you are confused to stay or let go of that person you love? Whether it's that you're unhappy about the way you're being treated or the way that your relationship has been heading, it's time for you to end that confusion and find a lasting solution. Relationships are an important part of each individual's life, and it's rather a disturbing thing for us to feel confused about whether to hold on to someone or let go of that person. It's even worse if this person is your romantic partner. It'll be hard and painful to bear those feelings of confusion about someone you love. So instead of sitting down and letting those feelings of confusion fester, it's better you find something to do about it. Here are some things to take into consideration. Number 1. Accept your emotions the way that it is and don't pressure yourself. Accept the way you feel and recognize that there's nothing wrong with you feeling confused about this person you love. Don't be too hard on yourself and don't judge yourself, rather, accept this state and know that you'll come out from it. Take this time to calm down, pause, and analyze your emotions. Don't pressure yourself. Try your best to observe your mixed feelings about this person and think about it from a neutral point of view. If someone else, like your best friend, was in the same position that you're in right now, what would you tell them to do? Number 2. Take some time off as a break to think and take things very slowly. If you're confused, it means you're very vulnerable in the relationship and you should give yourself some room to figure out what's going on between you and this person. Take a break to think well about the relationship and what has been going on. Don't just assume it's time to move on and don't just jump out of the relationship either. Take your time and ask yourself why you're feeling the way that you're feeling. Is it because of something this person is doing or did? Is it something they stand for? Is it that the relationship isn't giving you what you want it to give you? Try and check if what you're feeling is regarding something temporary or long term. Take time on your own to make a decision. Don't rush the decision. Be sure about what's confusing and try to figure out if it's something that you both can work through or if it's something that will pass by with time. Take time to consider the type of love and commitment that you're looking for. If you've been confused about this person based on what they're offering you, it may be because they're not offering the sort of commitment that you desire. So the best thing for you to do is to take some time to evaluate whether the sort of commitment they can offer to you is something you want. It's necessary to take a moment to reflect upon what you want the relationship between you and this person to look like. This way, you'd know what to choose between letting go and holding on. If you want a long-term commitment and this person seems to be one who just wants to date casually, then it's best to let go of this person. Your confusion may arise from issues like you and your partner not having things in common. No two people would be the same and this isn't necessarily a deal breaker. However, if your differences are very major and over major life beliefs, then it may be a good idea to let go of this person. People say time heals wounds and it's very true. Time heals anything and everything. Take some time off and think about the situation of things and if the relationship is worth it. While you're thinking, take some time to evaluate if your relationship is healthy. If your confusion is because the relationship between you and this person you love is due to some toxicity, it may be better for you to let such go. So take time to check if this relationship is unhealthy. You can also journal all your thoughts about the relationship while taking time off to think about what's best for you between letting go and holding on. You can journal or write down your thoughts. This would help you to be objective. Pouring out all of your emotions onto a page can help you to figure out what you want. Write down how you feel and why you're feeling those things 
and write down the consequence of letting go and the consequence of holding on. Write down where you think these feelings of confusion are coming from and explore those thoughts. This would help you to reframe any negative thoughts you're experiencing and will give you insight into the situation. Number 3. Take some time to speak to this person. After you've figured out what's confusing you regarding holding on or letting go, you can try to talk to this person if you think they will be receptive to you. Find a good time and talk to this person if you think they'll be ready and willing to listen to you. Let them know how you're feeling. This person might just be feeling the same way that you're feeling, but if no one talks, you both wouldn't know. So rather than avoiding the situation, it's best to take an initiative and speak to this person. The confusion you're feeling that's making you wonder if you should go or stay could simply be a big misunderstanding, and so talking to your partner can help you to deal with this confusion. The simple act of talking with your partner can be what you need to gain an understanding of your thoughts, desires, needs, and those of your partner. Number 4. Follow your instincts. The truth is that if you're confused, you somehow already know what you want to do. After you've thought about the issues and you've spoken with your partner, you ought to know by now what you want to do. So just go ahead and address the issue head on and let your instincts. If the issue is regarding something your partner has done, then you should address them. Let them know about the issue and give them a chance for an explanation. If what they did is a deal breaker, then it's best to let go of them. If you follow the steps before this one and you've realized that your relationship with this person is healthy and is really what you want, then you should stay and hold on tight to this person. However, if it's not what you want, then letting go is the best thing to do. Once you've figured out what you want between holding on or letting go, go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid to do what you have figured out. If you let fear hold you down, you would never make any decision eventually. Many times we already know what we want deep down. We just don't want to accept it. Or better still, many times we are just afraid of the consequences of what we want and so instead of making a decision, we just sit in a place of confusion and choose not to be responsible for any consequence that comes our way. You must realize that if you would ever come out of this confusing situation, you would have to make a decision and stick with the decision. Number 5. Seek support from friends or family. You can even reach out for support from your friends and family. You don't have to deal with this confusing moment all by yourself. Having someone available for you who would be listening to your feelings and providing good advice when you ask for it can be really helpful when you're working through confusing feelings. So try to reach out to someone who is trustworthy and reliable and who can be the support you need. Whether it's your partner, friend, or family member, you don't have to be alone or do this alone. If you've tried several of the above things and it's still not working and you're still feeling very overwhelmed by doubt and confusion, then you may need more help contacting friends and family is a great idea. And if you've done this and it still doesn't help, then it may be time for you to seek some professional help. You may need to seek professional help because identifying feelings and emotions can be a very painful and stressful process. A therapist is very trained to help you identify emotions that you don't know about. They will also help you to spot different aspects in the relationship that doesn't match up and help you shed light on what you want. Now that I've shared with you what to do when you're caught between letting go or holding on to someone that you love, what do you plan to do with this knowledge? If you follow these steps well, you'd eventually figure something out. When you figured it out, don't be afraid to pursue your choice and don't sit down in indecision.